Book bag? Lunch money? Mom! Tissue? Mom! Underpants? Mom! I know I'm embarrassing you, but it won't be for much longer. You turn 10 on Saturday, and you know what that means. Starting Monday, you get to come to wait for the bus all by yourself. Oh. Can you believe it? The mic's just turning the big one out. And just one who has achieved a full decade of life, you will reap all the benefits appertaining there too. When I turn 10, my dad's gonna bump me up to the next lounge bracket to a sweet dollar seventy per. I'll be staying up till 8.30 Tuesday nights. It'll be just me, the TV, and the Avengers of Beanie McChip. I wonder what the Mikester's gonna do. I don't know. Let's ask him. Hey, Mikey. How's it going, man? You must be getting pretty excited about the big day, Mikey. <laughs> Mikey? Yeah, Mikey. Huh? What? You okay? You look like you just lost your best fruit pie. Huh? Yeah, fruit pie. Come on, guys. Time to hit the books. <laughs> Funky, funky, Hello, old friend. Funky, funky. Hey, Mikey, got your invitation to the birthday bash on Saturday. Yeah, our first double digit duda. Didn't it? I trust you selected a sophisticated yet unpretentious juice to commemorate the day. Huh? Oh, yeah, I think we're having apple. He thinks we're having apple? That's weird. Just last week, Mikey couldn't wait to turn 10. Now he doesn't care enough to know what kind of juice we're having at his party. Yeah. Ever since yesterday, he's been acting funny. That tends to happen as people begin to age. Their bodies fail them, their brains aren't quite what they used to be. Listen, I've known Mikey over half of my life, and there is nothing wrong with that boy. Of all our founding persons, which one said, I cannot tell a lie? Anyone? Anyone? Mikey? George Bonkyton? <laughs> Uh, good save, Mikey. Now let's all turn to page 112, which gives lie to the whole cherry tree myth. The cow says moo. Come on, Viz, do your worst. Put it right here. I ain't afraid of no cake ball. Okay, you made your point. Mikey, heads up! Mikey, what do you have, a death wish? I told you, never turn your back when Vince is... <gasps> Mikey, your face, it's blue. Uh, I fell. of blueberries. Uh, guys, I don't know how to say this, but Mikey wasn't eating blueberries. He was sucking on a monkey pop. A monkey pop? But they're for kindergartners. Yeah, and that's not all. Look. Bonky stuff? But why? Isn't it obvious? We've all gone through a bonky phase, usually at age two or three, maybe as late as five. Still, to regress into an infantile bonky obsession at the age of ten, this is very serious. All I can say is I didn't like bonky when I was supposed to, and I don't like him now. Yeah, and besides, we can't hang out with a ten-year-old bonky freak. We'll be the laughing stock of the playground. But guys, this is Mikey we're talking about. The monster, the Mikey, Big Boy Bloomberg, our friend. We can't just give up on him. He needs us. Well, what can we do? We could take all this bonky junk and chuck it down the ravine. No, I got a better idea. Face-to-face -face confrontation. You go up to Mikey, look him right in the eye, and tell him we know all about his bonky stuff. He'll be so embarrassed, he'll stop playing with bonky, just like that. You'll see. Hey, Mikey, you forgot your backpack. Oh, uh, thanks. Look, man, the dragon's of the bank. We know you're all hung up on bonky. I'm quite sure I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, man, your book bag's jammed with bonky junk. I mean, that's gotta be a cry for help. That's not bonky junk. It's... Okay, it is, but it was put there by someone else. Enemies, out to get me. Please, Mikey, get off that stuff before the whole school finds out. Never! Mikey, wait! Whoa! <laughs> hey, look, everybody! Mikey's playing with bonky stuff! <laughs> Maybe confronting him wasn't the best thing to do after all. Poor Mikey, he's gonna do something. Confrontation didn't work. I suggest we try acceptance. Acceptance? You can't be kidding. Look, if we support Mikey by accepting his new lifestyle, perhaps it'll help build his self-esteem. Well, I guess it's worth trying. <sighs> hey, Mikey, sorry about what happened earlier. Here, you dropped something. Bunky! Yeah, ain't he the cutest?
Miss Finster? What is it, Detweiler? <sighs> Bonky stuff, man. I found it under the swings. You know toys from home are strictly forbidden. Yeah, I thought you should lock them up. Ah! I'm sorry, Mikey. I saw no other way. Now your recovery can begin. Doesn't it feel good to get that dragon off your back? Yeah, you guys were right. It was for my own good. I shouldn't be playing with little kid stuff. I mean, heck, in a few days I'm gonna be the big one out, right? Exactly! Well, I better get inside. I believe the Bucky nightmare is finally over. Everybody ready to honor our old friend Mikey? Our ten-year-old friend Mikey. I got him supersonic glow-in-the-dark whistling football. I'm paying tribute with a remote-controlled Tyrannosaurus Rexodon by Septo, Warlord of Destruction. Ooh. This is gonna rock! Hey, what the heck are a bunch of kindergartners doing here? You don't think. <gasps> Tell me I'm not seeing this. Hey, guys, join the party. We love Bunky. Oh, my goodness, boys and girls. Guess who's here? Oh, no. Bunky, Bunky. Bunky. Let's get your tiny hi there, Kelly Willie. It's Bunky time. <laughs> Oh, man, Mikey fell off the bonky wagon. We've got to destroy this bonky obsession once and for all. You guys thinking what I'm thinking? I see no other way. Then out. Now! Oh! You think this is bonky? I'll show you bonky. Ah! <gasps> Mrs. Blumberg? Oh, uh, hi there, kids. My mom is bonky? Oh, my head hurts. Manchop, wait. <laughs> so, who knows the hokey pokey? Now we play pin tail on feet, kids. <laughs> You haven't sat here in a long time. I know. You seem pretty upset that it was me inside this bonky costume. Well, how would you like it if your biggest hero turned out to be nothing more than your mom dressed in a rubber suit? You know, honey, calling Bonky your biggest hero is a little, well, weird, don't you think? Not you, too. Oh, Buttercup, this is probably all my fault. I thought by putting on this suit I'd be helping you get over this bonky obsession, but all I've really done is make things worse. No, it's not your fault. I know Bonky's for little kids, and I know it's not right for me to be playing with him all the time. It's just... The other day when you left me at the bus stop and told me how I wasn't going to need you anymore, well, I started to miss the old days. The old days? You know, those halcyon preschool days when it was just you, me, and Bonky. And I thought maybe if I kept him around, it would be a way of keeping you around, too. Oh, honey, I'm not going anywhere. You're not? No, I'll be around. It's just, you're growing up. And as you grow up, you have to learn to do things more on your own without your mom or Bonky by your side. But that doesn't mean I'll be gone. I'll always be with you in here. Really? Really. Heck, you're my buddy little lamb chop cup and you're my apple dumpling mama and you're my little chocolate covered pumpkin pie what are they talking about out there as far as my lip reading skills can determine they're talking about food Ooh. book bag lunch money tissue underpants 